The race to find a universal cure for COVID-19 is underway across the globe and right here in San Antonio. Studies on all sorts of anti-inflammatory drugs in progress, many of which were used to treat other conditions. Ursula Perry explains how vitamin D is now getting attention as a way to prevent and treat COVID-19. Vitamin D is vital in allowing your body to absorb calcium and strengthen bones. Vitamin D is certainly a, a, a good thing if a physician recommends it. But how does it work when it comes to COVID? In a German trial of nearly 10,000 people, researchers found deaths from respiratory illness were three times higher for those with a vitamin D deficiency. At Northwestern University, researchers analyzed data from 10 countries and found patients with severe vitamin D deficiencies were twice as likely to suffer complications from COVID. But experts are cautioning that more research needs to be done and not to overdo it with vitamin D. It can have side effects. Too much vitamin D can be toxic and lead to heart and kidney problems. According to the National Institutes of Health, daily intake of 25 to 100 micrograms or 1,000 to 4,000 UI is safe for most people. Two population groups most commonly affected by vitamin D deficiencies are African Americans and the elderly. The two groups also most impacted by COVID-19. Some experts will take it a step further, recommending a daily cocktail of vitamin D, along with vitamin C, an antioxidant that boosts the immune system, as well as zinc, a mineral which some say not only reduces inflammation in the body, but also boosts immunity. You can get a good dose, a natural dose of all three by spending some time in the sunlight and changing the foods you eat. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.